And now that I've introduced myself, I should like to have some idea of what is going on here. Oh, Bob! Come with me! I'm explaining two words. We propose to marry your daughter. Dear me! <laughs> Against our wills, Papa! Against our wills! Oh, but you mustn't do that. <laughs> We are all single gentlemen. Yes, I gather that. Anything else? No, nothing else. Papa don't believe them. They are pirates. The famous pirates of Penzance. The pirates of Penzance? I've often heard of them. Well, except this gentleman, who was a pirate once, but who is out of his indentures today. He intends to lead the blameless life evermore. But wait a bit. I object to pirates as sons-in-law. We object to major generals as fathers-in-law. <laughs> but we should <laughs> overlook that point. Ha! An idea. <laughs> <laughs> to say a special word to the eighth year people. I wonder if, just briefly, the eighth years would raise their hands just so they know, you know who we're talking about. Right, thank you, eighth years. These people, behind the makeup <coughs> and the costumes, will have been in many productions over the years. <coughs> and I would like to take this opportunity, since they've only got, sadly, about another week with us, to say a very, very true Thank you to all of the eight years for all that you've done over the years. I would also like to say that when I stood at the back of some of the early rehearsals, it was very noticeable how older pupils were giving confidence to younger pupils, and that confidence, I'm sure, has come through tonight. So could we give all of the performers a very special round of applause? Jenkins and Mrs. Clark, and I'm sure the children would like to say a special thank you to them 
for the very sympathetic way in which they've accompanied the children. Not all of the songs are all that easy to deliver, and I know that because of their work all through the rehearsals, um, they have made a significant contribution to the production. So perhaps a round of applause for them. Thank you. 